All right, welcome back. Thank you all for taking the time to watch me paint. So today is the Bilan Samrima, one of the four recognized monuments in the longest single day race of the pro cycling calendar. And we are now at the last 25 kilometers of the first of the two um, noteworthy climbs. This is the Sapresia, which comes, as I say, with 25 kilometers to go. Now this, I'm painting Peter Sagan right now. Yeah, I'm a Sagan fan. Who wouldn't be? Um, he just had a mechanical at the right before the climb started, so he's in the situation of having to chase his way back onto the uh, tail end of the peloton, which will become more obvious, but that's really going to uh, radically endanger his chances of winning the race. Sagan so has raced Milan San Remo. What were the commentators saying? Dan Lloyd, etc. He's raced it 11 times, never been out of the top 10, at least. Being a little conservative there, I think it's more like the top six. But still, always done very well, but conversely has never won the race. And having to put in this much energy into chasing right now probably means He'll have to come back next year in hopes of winning again. Who knows? He might make it. But on this climb in 25 kilometers now, he is. This is the Shimano Neutral Service, which would be. I have a feeling he's already gone through. Yeah, maybe that's the rest of the cars up there. But he could be just at the back of the peloton already, right before I decided to start painting this. He was, oops, that's not who that is. He was um, whipping through a lot of the riders that are getting dropped. Many who have been, their job was to get everybody, get their teams to the front of the race. And now they've sort of put in their effort and now they're kind of popping on this climb up, which is fine. I mean, it's bike racing is a team sport and each person has their job to do. Most of these guys back here at this point were never supposed to win the race. That wasn't their job. Their job was to look after, get food, you know, take care of their team leaders. And now they are as the road really starts going up, although to hear tell this isn't that hard of a climb, but um, at this point, so the race is 290, so what is that, 265 kilometers, quick math in my head, and they're well over 100 miles at this point. And uh, <laughs> I can't ride that far. The painting I did just before this was one of the riders had been in the breakaway and he had gotten dropped on a previous climb and worked really hard to catch back up. And then when he got down to the bottom of the mountain or the Copa, the Copa Berte, he had a horrible leg cramp. In fact, both legs cramped. And I kind of did the painting just partially just in solidarity because I've, I've had that experience and it is awful on a long ride and you cramp up and it is a miserable, miserable experience because you can't really, each time you try to straighten one leg or straighten one group of muscles in your quads, it's like your first your quads and then your um, hamstring and back and forth and it's just 
a horrible, horrible experience. Now that's not Sagan's problem right now. His problem is something got stuck in his derailleur. And at first he sort of coasted and tried to get it out. You know, keep moving forward, quite literally. Um, and then his team car pulled up and gave him another bike. So he made a quick bike change. But now he's in this position of trying to chase back on, which is always tough to do. And of course, he's not a climber, he's a sprinter. And while he's a very good climber for a sprinter, it's still energy I'm quite sure he would have preferred not to spend at this point. So I'm hoping he'll get back. I always enjoy seeing Sagan light up a race. So now I'm just going to work through the palette, and I've talked about this before, about working warm to cool, light to dark. So late in the flesh tones and now coming back and laying some of these reds in. And I can say, I'll just work my way through. The palette. So now we've sort of hit the warms. I don't really see any oranges. Oops, I do see a little more red though. One of the French say de jour riders, of course, so they, as the name would imply, French team. They, their uniform, their cycling kit shows the French flag. So now that's all the warms as I see them. So we'll work through the cool, cool colors. And um, I usually start with the blue rather than the green. All depends on what I see needing to be done. So I just, I'm intrigued that, I, that Sagan has changed teams this year. So I'm sort of learning his new team colors. Um, don't know the backstory of why he changed teams. He had been riding for Bora Hansgrove for many, many years. He had, of course, had other contracts before that. But I don't know whether it was money or like, okay, I've done what I can do there. Time to move to a new team. Just what the rationale was. Anybody knows, would like to comment. Love to know. Speaking of comment, I always welcome your comments. I do make every effort to respond. Curious what everyone thinks, both about the racing and how I'm capturing the racing. So Sagan is both the current Slovakian champion. So he has, his jersey is different and the teams all, well, some more than others, some do it better than others. When they have a national team, they try to have their jersey feature that. I mean, obviously that much more important to have a um, national champion on your team. It just you know, shows your team in that much better of a light. Uh, 
and then like this is Ineos Grenadiers, just realize I did not. I usually title the painting before I start painting. A little bit more blue in that. So like any any of those grenadiers, their kit is this dark blue with uh, faded red to dark blue sleeves. And then uh, just trying to hide that that thumb tack is there. So what was I saying? So, but their national kits, the guys wear white jerseys with the flag or at least the colors of the flag and bands across their back. Across their jersey. So just working my way through each detail of the piece, I just realized I want more red there. So I'll come back and do that. But I gotta go ahead and work through some of these darks first. Like I say, this is a tail of the Peloton. And whereas some of these riders are dropping back, so it's this sort of thing that happens, like if you had something and you're in a position where you've got to chase up, it can be difficult to um, work your way through the riders going back the other direction. And conversely, if you're struggling a little bit and hanging at the back of the peloton, you don't know just how far ahead the front of the peloton has gone. So there's always this thing where everybody wants to ride on the front, but <laughs> clearly that's not always possible. So just sort of getting some of the background stone wall into this. Now, always been a fan of AG2R. They've now partnered with um, the French bike manufacturer Citroën. So they changed their kit a bit, but they've always had brown shoulders. They used to have brown and light blue sleeves or had this little pattern that came from La Mondiale. But now they just have AG2R in red and Citroen in black written across the back of their kit with the logos of the bike company. I mean, car company. I think I like the team too because, you know, way back when, <laughs> in the 70s when I was in middle school, we watched those French movies in French class. They always have the old little Citroen vehicles. I've always the little, kind of like looked a little, look a little bit like the old Beatles. So put the dark here, the rainbow stripes. So the rainbow stripes designate a world champion now. If you were still the world champion, the jersey would be white with the rainbow stripes. But any former champion will have the rainbow stripes on their sleeves and or around their collar. And some of that is the team's decision. You know, because sponsors necessarily want their colors to show. And so Sometimes it can be a little bit of a challenge to design a jersey that meets everybody's needs. So this one's just about done, except for the title. And before I do the road, I'm gonna do that. Call this chasing back. My name. And of course, today is the 19th of March. So there, that's signed. So really all I have to do now is just lay in this roadway and the piece will be done. So that would be a good time to say, you know, I hope you enjoy watching this. You can see all of my cycling art on my blog spot. That'll be in the description. But it's the art of cycling. 
www.blogspot.com and of course I don't just make cycling art. Um, so you can see all of my art at my website gregleach.com and I'll put these things in the link of course or in the description. Now, I didn't talk so much about the color in this one and some of the more painterly things this is more about racing. But anyway, give it a like. Give me a thumbs up. Start following if you're not already. And thanks for taking the time to look. I really do appreciate it. All right. Hope to see you again soon. Thank you all. Right here, I'm going to do this for you too, just because.